Ooh, it's hot. What's up, Mad Max 408? GS Pacho Zapata, Smokey the Loco Bear. How you doing, Shannon? Oil Santiago R. Saludos. What's up, Big Goyo? Stockton in the house. Shout out to Stockton. What? S1. What's up, boy? Just about to hit your boy. What you talking about? What you taking so long for, man? You know I had to comb my hair. I had to touch up my whip, too, homie. You know how we do it. Box is braiding his cornrow. <laughs> What it is, though. What it is, though, man. What's up, Rome 650? Nicholas, farmland bullies in the motherfucking house. Chupa mi verga. Everlasting base. What up? What's up? We. John M. Visa is in the motherfucking casa. Shout out to Visa. Visalia in the house. King J sending my boxer from Stockton, man. Shout out to uh Stockton, man. 209 in the motherfucking house. Soul Star LA. Hey, I appreciate that, uh, Soul Star LA. Yes, sir. Shadow Pit. What it is, Shadow Pit. So give it a couple minutes and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a couple announcements real quick. Hey, you guys, uh for those of you that got questions too, man, drop your questions in the community. I'm gonna start doing those QAs again. I'm gonna start incorporating those into the lineup on a regular basis, man. So if you guys got questions, shoot them. The only question that's the only dumb question is the one that's not asked, man. So Whatever it is, you guys got a question, go ahead and shoot it. I was tripping out, man. It was it's been five months since I last I last did my last QA. Jason Rex Roman, what's what's cracking home? Boy, it just hit me like a bag of bricks. The original NF members were from down south, man. We've been fighting for nothing. <laughs> yeah, some of them were, uh, Jason, before the, the geographical lines, uh, before they, there, there was any, there was a lot of them from down south. Yonda, what's up, Big Juice? I don't know, though, man. They took the homeboys' Nikes, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? They took the homies' Nikes, man. Uh, mm. Everlasting base, what it is, man. Boxer, have you seen those prisons that have a dog program that allows inmates to live and train? Yeah, that's pretty cool, bro. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I know exactly what you're talking about. I think that's a that's a adult program too, man. Um, it's a win-win. They train the dogs. They got nothing but time to train them, and then that dog goes to somebody. Uh, that it can help what are the what do they call those dogs they call them uh, uh <clears throat> service dogs i can imagine though man some of them cats spend three four months training one of those dogs boy and then when it's time to go man Nothing like having a little companion, right? Everlasting base. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, Nissan Altima Activity says, Smokey been watching a little too much Wes Watson. I got a question. How is it that I'm willing to spar with you, but everyone else? Oh, man. Yeah, what's, what's, I'm starting to wonder, man. What, what, what are you, uh, we can spar, uh, Smokey the Bear, but uh, 
I, mean, I, I don't know what to say, bro. It's not like I'm right down the street. You sound like you want to beat me up pretty bad, though, man. How is it that you... I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Mad Max is going to agree with that. Then again, I could be wrong, man. But, yeah, it's a it's a legitimate question. But get at me off off uh, offline, bro. Red Rum 318, Orale, big Mr. Boxer. Hope all is well, my boy. You still on point. Keep up the good work. 818, Texas in the house. What's up, Born Supreme? Big figures, what it is, homeboy. What's up, we? I heard they might open up Alcatraz for level four prison again. If I had to do time, it would be there. Hell yeah. Yeah, Al can travel. Uh, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Uh, I ain't got too many more, uh, too many more years I can spare, man. Yes, sir. I got you on the. Uh, I need someone to spar with that will help me with my training boxer. You're big dude. Man, you ain't got there ain't nobody else out there right now you can beat up on uh yeah, feel free I can handle benefit from you know what get at me on my IG bro uh smokey and uh we'll work something out bro real real shit I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass either man I hear what you're saying but on the real though where you're at there's there's nobody I'm sure there's some some good sized cats somewhere in, close by that that uh that can help you in the meantime in between time, right? I don't know, man. I might have to get my uh. Yeah, get at me. I might have to get my wind up, bro. You talking about you run eight miles every morning and <laughs> you know. Queen of trash cans, boxer. What? No, 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 no. I don't know. You don't know who you are. But uh uh. -uh. Or identify yourself. For sure, Mad Max, I would buy a boot, a hook, a boat. They hook up my folks. Oh, you want to do throw a little, throw some glove over there, uh, Jason? What's up, Eddie Aguilar? <laughs> Vallejo, Cal 707. How'd y'all get so big in the pinta with just calisthenics? Nah, 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 my boy. It wasn't just calisthenics. <laughs> Hell no, man. We, we can't do that right now. Behave yourself. Oh, um, no, nah, it wasn't just calisthenics. Only was a lot of push ups and um, water bags when, when we could. And in the shoe program, um, legal work, legal work, magazines, and books. You, uh, you fold them, you, you, you stack them up real tight in a sheet, man, and make a block out of them. So they're like dumbbells. Roll up a, uh, some paper so you have a handle and you get your money like that you're not gonna just blow up on calisthenics like that it ain't gonna happen how you doing Lori Lori Wilson 
That's Pinky calling the bat for him. <laughs> that was Pinky. I told him, uh, I hit him back up in a little bit. Santa Muerte. Saul Fernandez, boxer. Am I involved in the YouTube beef going on? Hell no. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I got more respect for myself than that, man. Um, uh, don't want no part of it, not involved. I'm sitting back enjoying the um the antics with the rest of you. That ain't me. I don't, I don't, I don't do that stuff, man. It's a waste of time. <laughs> What's up, Fresno's finest? Shout out to Fresno. <whistles> Burpees and water bags. Dip bar on the yard. Yeah, we didn't have a dip bag though, uh, Mad Max. Yes, sir. I, I, for the most part, I, I really do try to ignore the bullshit. Nothing. Pancho Zapata, nothing at all. Pointless, man. Shit, it's not only pointless, I mean, it's self, self, self mutilation, man, self destruction. With no, with no purpose, man. There's, there's no underlying purpose man not, none at all i know some of you guys want to know you know some uh boy was just telling me too man that this might have been a bad time to to make this announcement based on the fact that there's a fight on right now oh uh, because i had a couple announcements one Primarily being the the American bully that um that we're gonna be giving away, I'll talk about it a little bit right now and um and I'll just mention it throughout the throughout the live man. So just to let you guys know, you know I know a lot of you guys got questions and you know there was some, some there's always gonna be the crazy questions and, and almost to the point where it seemed like cats were getting picky. I mean this is the thing. It's a very expensive dog and it's free. So, you know, that's, I understand you might want to know what it is and what color and all that stuff. But some of the questions were just like, just crazy, man. Technical, you know what I mean? Is his nails cut? What kind of, I mean, I'm half-assed joking right now, but for real, man, I, I'll tell you a little bit about the dog. The, so, but before I do that, let me let me let you guys know how, this all came about so an individual reached out to me um that that basically has his own his own uh he breeds he breeds these american uh bullies the name of his matter of fact i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it out there so that you guys can see it oh how that happen? So, let's see. So. This is the name of the the guy that breeds him. Um, that's the name of the his whatever you want to call it company business. It's called Farmland Bullies Two Hundred Nine. So he reached out because you know he's a breeder and you know his thing was he's got a he's got a son that just graduated and you know he he's he's proud of his son. So he wants to do something nice for somebody else and you know what better way to than to give somebody a dog like this it's a it's a very expensive dog 
it's bloodline. It's got, you know, it's got the papers and all that. Um, I'll get into all that in a minute. Um, it's five months old and, you know, he's doing this because he wants to look out for, for somebody, you know, um, a kid preferably that is going to school, that's doing all the right things, that's staying out of trouble, that's on the right track. Um, you know, he doesn't want the dog to go to somebody that's going to that's gonna fight it or somebody that's just going to put a leash on him and throw him in the backyard. You know, he wants to go to somebody, of, you know, a family that's going to take care of it and, and give it, you know, a lot of attention. Dogs are like kids, man. You got to give them attention. You know, some people, uh, they don't do that. And, you know, he wants to make sure that that uh, that he's well taken care of, which is completely understandable. So, you know, he can get money for this dog. And there's people that have been offering money for this dog. But I'm not trying to make nothing from this, man. And he's not either. This dog is going to be given away. Like I said, there's people that have been, you know, offering crazy amounts off the cuff i could do it but that's not me man that's not what i'm that's not what i'm about this is his thing and you know i'm, I'm assisting him and you know to, to to try to make money off it or anything like that man i just think it would be the would be the wrong look for me so the dog's going to be given away what we're going to do is is if you guys have a, a kid or, you know, you have a, a son or a daughter that's in school, doesn't matter what, it, you know, the age, they're, they're doing good, all the things that I mentioned, and you guys have a, you know, a place, and, you, and you're able to take care of a dog like this, go ahead and, um, and drop a, a, a comment inside the, inside my community, and what I'll do is I'm going to write all the names down, I'm going to put them in the wheel, and we'll spin it and we'll give it to, you know, whoever, um, the same way we do raffles, man. It's the same way. You know, there's a lot of people I know, man. Some of you guys got some some stories, man, that uh, I wish I had a dog to give some of you, man. You know, dogs that have just, you know, your kid's dog just passed away. or You guys are trying to get a, a, a you know, a, an American bully. Some of you had them and, and some, you know, things happened. Man, I wish I could give every last one of you a dog that uh that reached out and and you know told me the story, man, uh, your story. But obviously, I can't do that, you know. Um, that's why I don't want to get in the position of having to pick because it's it's too hard. There's too many of you that are deserving, and um, let the wheel decide, man. You know, let the wheel decide. My daughter just turned 13. She has learned the hard way with friends. She was bullied in school and is overweight. The dog would help her with depression. See, stuff like that, man. Um, and a dog, you know, would help somebody, a kid like that that's going through depression, man. Um, those are the kind of stories I'm talking about right there. There was a lot of them. So anyway, let me let me tell you guys a little bit about the dog. The dog's five months old. You guys seen some of the pictures. You guys wanted to know, some of you wanted to know the color. If the color's lilac, it's kind of like a, a maroonish kind of color. Um, it's a pocket bully. <laughs> you guys want to know, is it a pocket bully? Is it a, a classic bully, a standard bully? It is a pocket bully. Does it matter? It's free. Um. The dog's got a clean bill of health. It's a healthy dog. There's nothing wrong with the dog. However, let's just say you win the dog and you take the dog to a vet. And let's just say by a crazy chance that there's something wrong with the dog. This guy is willing to pay the guy that, that runs Farmland uh, Bullies 209 is willing to pay the vet fee and, you know, take the dog back. You don't want the dog. Um, but that's not the case. The dog's well taken care of and it's, it's, it's a healthy dog. Um, the dog has a good temperament. It's not an aggressive dog. It's, it's a playful dog. It's good with other dogs 
and with kids. And I mean, a dog like that, I'm sure people want to know if you got small kids, if, a, you know, that dog is, is okay around kids. <laughs> I am completely exempt from any kind of liability. I'm just the middleman, but, you know, you take on a lot of responsibility yourself when you take a dog from anywhere, whether it's a vet or somewhere like this. And, um, you know, it is what it is. If you, you, you take a dog and you throw it in the backyard and you throw a chain on them and you leave them out there that you're going to get an aggressive dog sooner or later. It's all about how you keep your dogs, how you, how you train them. Um, you walk your dogs and, and you take care of them. They're going to be okay. And they're going to be friendly around other people. If you don't, they're going to get territorial. They're going to start getting aggressive. That's what, that's just what dog, how dogs are. Um, So I already went over the qualifications that, you know, that basically it's, you know, if you guys got a kid or if it's, uh, you know, somebody just, just give me a little bit of the background um, when you drop it in the comments. It doesn't have to be nothing extensive, man. Just drop, you know, bam, 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 boom. And your name will, will get thrown in there. And then, you know, it would help if, you know, in the end, if you do win, the raffle or the giveaway if you know if it's somebody you're, it's your, your kid you're talking about if you got a report card or something you don't have to show any um uh personal information or anything like that just some kind of verification man you know i know there's some people that i mean you tell stories you tell stories whatever man you know karma comes back you know i i have no way of verifying i'm not gonna go out of my way to really extensively um check i can only do so much you know what i'm saying but anyway um so the the dog does it it is a bloodline dog like i said it's it's an expensive dog and it does have papers however you know he's giving this dog away and if you want the papers, you're going to have to pay for those. That's, you know, that's his, his choice. Um, that's how he's doing it. But, you know, you'll have to pay for them if you want them. But there is papers on the dog, you know, the, 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 the bloodline papers. Um, that's basically it right there, man. Um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. The dog's five months old, and uh, it's an American bully. It's a nice dog, man. I wish I could have him, but he'd probably eat Gizmo's ass up, man. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact. Bam! This is my American bully right here. Gizmo, say what's up, man. Ah. This is my Gizmo right here, man. Look at him. But anyway, um, <laughs> see, man, you famous, boy. Look at that, man, Gizmo. Good night, everyone. Good luck. Puppy Pets Paris. All right, Puppy Pets Paris. Uh, appreciate you, Nefarious. Send mine right back at you, Patty Walker, L. Rod, and what's up, man? Sacred Hurt, Sacred Hurt. How you doing, uh, Sacred Hurt? Gizmo is the real star. <laughs> Shannon Emer says, Hi, Gizmo. Gizmo in the casa. All right, buddy. You gotta go do your thing, man. Tony Hernandez, what does he look like? What does the dog look like? It's in the community. How about this? It looks like my shirt. Isn't that isn't that uh it's befitting right there? Farmland bullies in the house. Bam. So here's the dog, man. It's it's posted in the in the community, but I'm gonna show you anyway. That's the dog right there. You 
Here's a better picture. It's a nice dog, man. When this school year started, my son was getting in a lot of trouble at school. Was two years behind in school, schoolwork. He was put on ADAH medication and has caught himself up with the schoolwork. That's right, Lori Wilson. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you're, if you're, uh, you know, interested in the dog, but go ahead and put your name in the in the community. Um, what was I gonna say? What's up, Samuel? Samuel, Victor Mora. I see your boy, Lori Munoz. Also, I told you guys the last raffle that we did, um, we gave away two pairs of shoes. Besides the pair that we raffled off, I'm going to show you guys. So all I asked from the people that we gave them to is when they gave the shoes to their kids that we wanted a picture. I'm going to show you guys the pic, the pictures just so you guys can see. Um, I mean, it's cool, man. You know, somebody, these guys got, uh, you know, some, some shoes for school. That's, that's what's up. That's what we do, man. So this is one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of his face, man, because... I don't know if they want their face out there. So this is one right here. This guy right here is getting straight A's. He's getting straight A's and um, got accepted into what college is Stanford. <laughs> you know how fucking hard it is to get accepted by Stanford? I mean, this kid right here, man, he's getting straight A's. He's a smart kid. But, you know, he's. Those are the shoes that, that uh, we gave him. What's up, Ray? Boxer historian. Boxer, you kept it solid. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you, boy. Um, let me let me show you guys the other picture. So, this other guy, Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and delete or get rid of his face as well. Um, so here's the other pair of shoes that, that we raffled off. Then I'm going to make a, I'm gonna tell you guys about something else that we're going to be doing. So there you go right there. Hey. You know, his mom said he needed some shoes. So he got the other pair of shoes, man. And, uh, you know, I'm just glad to see see that they went to to kids that need them and that, that uh, appreciate them. So also, I was going to tell you guys, so we got a couple interviews that are going to be coming up. Ooh, it's hot. We got a couple interviews that are going to be coming up. We're going to interview Uriah Faber and 
I'm actually I'm I'm gonna let Sandman get some skin in the game up and chop it up with him. Um Sandman likes to uh he likes UFC, so we'll see how he does with that. Uh I got Tony the Tiger coming up next week or this week. I'll know for sure tomorrow. Um Tony the Tiger out of Sacramento. Some of you might know him, might not know him, but uh I'm going to be interviewing him on, on the channel. Also, um, this one's not for sure, but it's very likely. We're going to try to get Mike Tyson on this channel, man. We're going to try to do it. And uh, I got a line to him on the reel. So, you know, when when you kind of – all these boxers kind of stay in, in the – they kind of all stay in, in the same circle, man. You know, they're all in touch and uh, – you know, Mike, he has his own podcast, uh, I believe it's called called Hot Boxing with Mike. But, hey, I'm, I'm happy if he'll come on here and talk about whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> that, that, so we'll, we'll see. We're working on, uh, you know, we got the other two for sure. That one was thrown at me, man. Um, you know, I was asked if I wanted to interview him and, Shit, if he'll come on the channel, but you know, the guy that I talked to, he's a he's a cool cat. Um he used to be a promoter for boxing, and um he's got a line on all these guys, man. So and and with that said, also I'm gonna be um I'll be raffling off some memorabilia, boxing memorabilia through him as well. If you guys uh are interested in that, you'll know about it way ahead of time. So We'll see what happens with that. Tony the Tiger, Mike Tyson, Uriah Faber. And there's another guy. I just don't remember his name. His last name's Ochoa. For those of you that are celebrity, uh, celebrity, uh, I don't want to call you guys uh, 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 groupies, but for those of you that stay in the know when it comes to celebrities, I know his last name is Ochoa, and I know he used to date Kylie Jenner. So, that guy is another one that um we're probably going to interview as well and then there's uh there's another guy he's just he's a guy that did time in um in adx he's a a white guy out of washington and you know allegedly they accused him for killing the navy in um in prison i don't think he'll really touch on that Right, you know, which is understandable, but he, he can't touch on ADX and how it was to be over there in ADX with uh next to some of them some cats uh some of the the uh I, I forget exactly who it was, but yes, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. So here's a Here's a picture. I'm sure, you guys might know him, but this is that's Uriah Faber right there. It's a UFC fighter out of Sacramento. And here's another, just another row. So we'll see what happens, man. Um, I'll keep you guys, I'll keep you guys uh uh updated on, on what happens. What's up, keep sterile? I see a boy, you got one boxer, smoke the local bear. <laughs> the the firefighting bear that's got him scared. Yeah. What's up, Machete? Tony the Tiger Lopez is an American former professional boxer who competed from 1983 to 1999 oh my bad what there's some people that didn't know who he was uh uh machete he also albert achoa damn boy that's who i'm talking about he used to date kylie jenner right uh, machete So, yeah, man, uh, I 
box. You only what? You only work. You only work black shirts? Nah, bro. I got a whole closet full of different color shirts on one. No, man. I, trust me. I got a thousand shirts in there, man. They're not all black. That's all you see me wear, though. Huh? Sandy Flores, famous for the white corn rolls. Sandy Flores. Oh, I thought you got blocked. Who told me that you got blocked? Who was it? Daniel Hurtado, what's up, boy? Shout out to San Fernando Valley. How can we educate the viewers to help become entrepreneurs? <laughs> That's another show. There's, there's a lot of different ways you can become an entrepreneur. I know you're right. I know Uriah King, the cage gladiator challenge. Met him and Joe Daddy way before they got big. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. That's cool stuff, bro. It helps the channel. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, it definitely helps the channel. So what you guys think about the um there were some other questions, man, that that I was gonna throw in that that QA, but that that thing took me forever, man. What you guys think about the QA though, man? Uh, if I didn't get you guys, if I missed somebody that, that sent some questions in, man, keep shooting them. Because I'm gonna keep doing them. What's up, Britannia? I see you. Gabe in the flesh box. You consider yourself an alpha male? Oh no, I'm an alpha male all day, homeboy. Straight up, man. No. You can't put me in a you can't put me in a cell with another lion, man. I I, I tell you that right now. Huh. You can't put me in a cell with nobody right now. A cocaine dealer is an entrepreneur. Yeah, man. Self self uh self enterprise self enterprise joseph T torres what's up man where's my dog at box <laughs> alfred bedoya was watching the gna it was good g oh the q a the q a i'm blind man i appreciate it man yeah there's um like I said, there there was more questions, but YouTube hates, man. So I don't want to. I didn't want to make it too long, man. But I'm gonna start doing them a lot more of them. So start blasting me your questions, man. I need questions if I'm gonna do them. What do you think of the new generation? As far as what, man? Ugh. As far as what? Elon Musk said a dealer. Is more capable to run a company than a square. I tend to agree with that philosophy right there. I really do. That's right, Shannon. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, Nah, you're not blocked. I see you. Who you is, man? Who is that? That ain't. <laughs> no, 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 no. Read my question. It's for the Q and A. Serious question, do you think if the northern structure wouldn't have been dissolved, 
that there wouldn't have been so much bad politics. No, that was only part of the problem, bro. That that was only part of the problem, uh, uh, Smokey. One of many. There was a lot of different things going on at that time, but that, I mean, it was one of the big ones, but nah. What I think of uh, Cane Corso is I think they're up. Uh, they're some nice dogs. Hey, Box, how come we never had anyone? How come we never had any more juntas after I met you? What? Hey, Box, how come we never had any more juntas after I met you? Was it my old, was it my old hood? <laughs> what do you mean, bro, Victor? Any more juntas where? Out there in Ukiah? I don't know. Uh, broke my heart. I don't know. Um, it depends, man. You know, there's people that have dogs in in small apartments. It just it, it depends on some other other things. You would probably know better than uh, anybody else, though. What's up, Timo? What it is, homeboy? Hillsburg seven oh seven order late boxer saludos. A boy going through same horrible withdrawals of meth, but I'm pushing through for the betterment of me and your familia. But struggle is real. Yeah, it is real. I was like that with Turk from York, from York Street in a crack house. Two lions fighting all night till we were tired to swing at each other. To, yeah. That's what I'm saying. DX boxer, it's it's the early nineties, Saturday night, a young boxer getting ready to hit the streets. What does your fit look like i'm hoping no skinny jeans bro you ever catch me in, in some skinny jeans man just just run up on me with a baseball bat and bash my head in bro i never never throw on a pair of skinny jeans ever 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 hell no nah, man um uh, in the 90s what i look like what it looked like I don't know in the 90s some regular depends where i was going man just some regular 501 some uh, uh what kind of some, what kind of shoes i wearing back then man some some uh in the 90s probably them saos man i was stuck on those for a while a little uh three-quarter sleeve shirt Mad Max or uh, Machete sends his love to everybody. El Baboso. What's up, man? What's up, uh, S1? Shoot, shoot, uh, shoot one of them fire. Some, some one of them fire questions, man. Cesar Castellanos, what's up, boy? Nicholas Boxer, do the generals in the feds have cellies or are they put in single cells? Ah, they're single cells. They're single cells. 
I don't know if uh, if they're still on the step down program. No, nah, I think they're out, man, because they're around other people. They're around other homies now. No, you're on freeze right now. Damn, man, full sixty. Hey, man, I'm riding with the I'm riding with the uh, the collective. I don't get it messed up. Your collective. Jaime Contreras. In the, in the, London in the casa. <laughs> Shout out to London. AB, hey, any word on brass and the feds divulging information recently? <laughs> Like as far as, far as what uh, machete? Yeah, there's there's a little something going on, a little something going around. Posted, just watch a live stream of a chomo get busted in a love sting. Oh, those things are crazy, bro. We're watching that on TV or uh, disco? Stupid ass, dude. Them dudes are stupid, man. They see them, they see other cats get busted all the time. See cats get busted all the time, but yet they get on the phone and, and, and do the same thing. Deserve to get busted, man. Beat low. What's up with the Stacey Adams? Oh, man, I'm still banging them. Uh, Victor, I still wear them things, man. The brown ones or the black ones, they're still, those things uh, look good with, with some jeans, some creased up jeans with some baby cuffs, man. They still, I wear cowboy boots <laughs> with some creased 501s, and I'm still more G than most of these novella superstars. I have a little five-year-old girl, sacred. Somebody told me they was trading information for privileges. I can't believe that those vatos would never break at this point in their careers, never. Yeah, man, that's true, uh, Machete. I'll tell you like this, bro, that is very true information for privileges so you obviously know a little bit about something that's going on that's crazy young uh for like just some regular little regular federal prison privileges wow i wear what i like straight up wow there's a whole lot of testosterone and estrogen up in these up in these comments <laughs> it's all good, Shannon. You're supposed to. Or the boxer, tell that funny ass story about the oranges that the homie gave. Uh <laughs> yeah, man. I, I I tell you guys, man, uh, it's it's uh it's a story a lot of you probably already heard, so I'll just keep it short, but you know. Um, my boy Smokey from uh, Salinas pretty much it, it was tired of getting pushed and pulled and, um, you know, got to the point where you know, a lot of people were getting deemed. A lot of things were happening within the O that just discouraged him. So he was like, you know what? Fuck, I'm done, man. I'm done with this. I'm going I'm to try to get these motherfuckers for everything I can before I bounce. <laughs> so he's over there and... and He's over there in Corcoran with your boy, Lencho. What's up, Sparky Buff? 
He's over there with Lecho. And uh, you know, he hits the tear and Lecho, Lecho blasts. He, he shoots him a bunch of magazines and some, some coffee canteen. He shoots his radio down there and all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Fake ass dude. So Smokey's down there, you know what I mean? He's eating sopas and he's uh, looking at his magazines and listening to his radio. And then he's like, you know what, man, I'm gone. It's time for me to make that move, man. So however he did it, I don't know. I don't know the details. I don't care, man. But uh, when they rolled him up in Corcoran, it's over there, you know, that they're not going to come into, uh, they're not going to let you out of the pod. So that, well, it, it depends. But anyway, he came out, he came out to sell and Lecho yelled down to him. He's like, hey, bro, he's like, just, just go ahead and uh, put put all that in front of my door. Bring the radio and the magazines and all that stuff. So Smokey, they pop they pop him out. He goes down there, put the put the uh, the bag with the radio in it down by the door. His magazines and uh, whatever else he was giving back to Lencho. So. Lentil's wishing them all kinds of love, love, and hey, my boy, man, I, you know wherever you're at, let us know, man. Got nothing but love for you, man, and you know what I'm saying. And Smokey, uh, he, uh, they strip him out, cuff him up, they take him. <laughs> Lentil gets his door popped, opens up his door, pulls in all the shit, and uh, he's got his magazines, his books, and shit gets the bag with the radio in it he opens up the bag smokey gave his ass a bag of oranges man <laughs> took off with that boy's radio man oh man i wish i could have been there man i wish i could have been a proverbial fly on the wall that's right mad max let that Boxer, you think the O in the feds will ever pull a battle as a C? Yeah, I think it's very possible. You know, you got Mike Eo in there, Mike Eo from Fresno. And, um, you know, Mike Eo's, he's obviously he's not with the, the Bulldog, um, with none of that stuff. But it, he, he kind of, that's kind of, he's like a link that would, probably reach out to, to cats from Fresno and um you know from what I heard and some some of those uh at least a while back I heard some of those those federal prisons that's some cats from Fresno were programming with them in there but I don't know how true it is boxer have you talked to BJ not in, not in a minute man it's been a it's been a while Versace, is it true that COs scan the mail now and don't give the real mail? <laughs> I ain't heard that one, man, but shit. Nothing would surprise me, man. Don Burgess, a boxer is smoky from Salinas and Chico related. No, nah, no, nah, they're not, they're not related. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh snap. The Lakers about to go down. 3-0. There's no coming back. Uh. Do you put do you put money on on people's books yeah i do there's a few of them that i look out for only because i know how it is man um i know how it is to be locked up in there and not have nothing man not have nobody looking out for you so i try to look out for a couple homies you know there's there's uh i don't know if any you know rule rule from uh 
from San Jose. But, um, you know, Rule just got out, did like 18 years. Box, you got a hearty. Yes, I do. Did like 18 years and fucking boy just got busted with the gun and some dope, man. That's uh that's messed up for the homie. I, I hope he's uh I hope he's okay. Hey, so the, you know what? There's something else I want to touch on, man. Something else I want to talk about. And you know, I usually don't don't uh talk about uh other things like this. You know, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of touch on this, man, because it's uh it's just something that I feel strongly about. So look, for those of you that that might already be aware or that might already even have a copy of it, I don't know, but there's a new book that came out and it's called the Nuestra Familia Encyclopedia. Okay. <laughs> now, this book was it was authored by Brian Perry, which is somebody that I know from Pelican Bay. He used to be one of the gang cops up there. They used to check our mail and we used to, you know, he was somebody that used to be on our helmets up there, man. He was he was uh the one that was always getting cats caught up. It was like the main one of the main uh SSU cats up there, right? So anyway, he, he's retired now. He wrote this book, in Western Familia um, Encyclopedia. So guess who co-authored the book? Mundo, right? Mundo. Now, I ain't got no, no issues with Mundo. I'm not going to hate on him. I'm not going to say nothing to... Uh, just nothing, nothing negative. But what I will say is this. So I was asked about, you know, participating in writing this book like three years ago when this book was just being whispered about. It was just, it was, people were talking about it. You know, we should do a, we should do an encyclopedia on the Nuestra Familia. And, you know, that's something that you should do. And honestly, I haven't even finished my second one. So, you know, I was like a third book, man. There's no way I'm going to have time to get into a project like that. Right. But at that time, Mundo was nowhere involved or nothing. It wasn't, you know, it was just something that was just being talked about at that time. So, you know, at, at that point I could have been involved. I could have helped write it. I could have, you know, obviously um, talked about a lot of, uh, of information that that would have been uh you know good for that book right but in the meantime in between time i ended up having a, a disagreement with mundo and the disagreement it, it it basically it stemmed from i just felt like you know that he wasn't being completely forthright about some of the information that he was putting out when it came to the NF and, and the Mexican mafia. If you're going to talk about it, you know, um, be straight up about it. There shouldn't be no, there shouldn't be no, uh, uh, you shouldn't be biased. You should be able to, to, to talk about it, whether the, you know, the, your home team looked bad at some point, you know, um, the good and the bad, you know what I'm saying? But I felt like there were some things that he was saying that weren't, weren't really accurate. So it kind of caused a little friction. So I stopped talking to him. And I'm talking about, man, I sat right across from Mundo. I know Mundo, trust me. I've talked to him. We sat face to face and we've talked before. But so this is the thing now. This book comes out. <laughs> this book comes out and Brian Perry has Mundo co-author the book, right? Now, don't get the wrong impression, man. I'm not mad because I wasn't mentioned in the book, but basically that's Mundo's way of, of uh, I feel like it's his way of, of um, you know, basically 
you can't wipe me out of history, man. There's just no way you can do it. There's no way you can do it, man. But I feel like that that he did that on purpose. He had some a hand in that, man. Uh, you know, it's just it's crazy, man. No. Uh, there's a lot that that book and you know take me out of the equation. But for those of you that might have got that book and you might have read it or you're going to order it and check it out, it is a complete fail, man. And I'm not, you know, if it was if it was a good book, um, I tell you, Brian Perry, he's obviously somebody that knows. I thought he would, there'd be a lot more information in there. He's somebody that had access to an extensive amount of information that he could have talked about. But the book was, it looked like to me, it looked like they just threw a bunch of stuff together just to get the book out. And that's all it was, man. You know, why would you have a former Mexican mafia member write a book on the on the NF because he was a a, a, because at one point he was Brian Perry said because he was a a a mortal enemy. Come on, man. You know, all I'm going to say is that you know a lot of people that I know personally they called me that were um that knew about that project, they called me and they were like, bro, try to tell them that it was a bad move. And, you know, uh, uh, there was a lot, trust me, man, I'm not, I'm not onto some, some bullshit. There's a lot that I'm not saying, but, you know, I'm just going to say this. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people like to listen to him, Mundo, and that's cool, man. You know, and, and he's knowledgeable and, and and he's very articulate. And, you know, that's why, you know, when he had his channel, he was getting a lot of views. But there's a lot of people that feel like, um, you know, he was rubber stamped by law enforcement to be uh, a Mexican mafia expert. And even if he is, okay, that's cool. But how somebody that, wasn't even a member of the MA for 10 years that dropped out in the 70s before the NR even came into existence, going to sit back and write a book on the NF. The book, it lacks any kind of, it lacks any kind of current information and any kind of intimate uh, NF type of content that only an NF member would know straight up. It'd be just like if I I was to write a book on the Mexican Mafia. Like, I can write a book about a lot of the stuff that you guys might hear, stuff I might hear about in the news, stuff I might see on documentaries or stuff like that, you know, a bunch of stuff that I can gather. But because I wasn't a part of that organization, I don't know the intimate details about certain individuals. That kind of stuff is complete. That book is devoid of it. There's nothing in there, man. I got the book. I looked at it. And I sent it back to Amazon. Um, but <laughs> you know, these guys wanted me to, they wanted me to help write the book, right? When it first came out. But then when the book comes out, I'm not even nowhere in it now. I mean, what does that tell you? If I would have if I wouldn't have fell out with old boy, I would would have been in there. And there probably there would have been obviously a lot more information in there. So it's just you guys can see it for yourself. I'm not going to tell you don't go buy the book. Hey, if you want to spend $70 on it, go check it out, man. You know what I'm saying? But they could have had any, even a fuck a NF member like like Fig or somebody that dropped out in the 70s or, or in the 80s. At least they would it would have been a, an NF member write the book. Even even if it wasn't me, it could have been anybody else. But I think they failed on that one, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I thought there was going to be a lot more information in there, pictures. But again, check it out. You can get it on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? If you wrote the book about the M, they would say the same thing, Box. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, they would be like, what the fuck? You got a, a, a former NF member, you know, writing about the Mexican mafia. That's just a, it's a, it don't make no sense, man. And for somebody to say, well, because, you know, a boxer was a mortal enemy of, of the MA. Okay. Well, it don't make no sense, man.
there's nothing in there about anything current, man. They're, they don't, there's nothing in there really about how the NR came into existence. And there's a bunch of misinformation. They got the NR being created by, and if you look, there's a lot of stuff that looked like it was, it was pasted out of my book. And I, I bullshit you not, man. Some of the pictures I can go into some, some folders that I have that, you know, I had the principal figures of the NF that came out, you know, the, the seven principal figures in Operation Black Widow. Those same pictures are the same pictures that they used in that book. They got the NR uh, being uh, uh, created by, I want to say it was like somebody crazy that was like, no, it wasn't, man. No. There's, you know, I told you guys before the NR was created by Brown Bob, Gopas from Salinas and Corny from Woodland. Those are the three that, you know, sat there and, and, and wrote that movement up. That was their baby. But anyways, I rambled on enough about it, man. I'm just, that's my review on it. You know, like I said, I don't usually do that, but. It's just funny, man. Um, <laughs> it's just funny. You know, Brian Perry, if I ever see you, man, you know, you can't wipe certain people out of history. And, you know, you getting involved in poly other people's politics, I think it was a, I think it was an unclassy move, man. Plagiarist. Yes, sir. Exactly. You know, how can you, how can, yeah, I'm done, man. I'm done. I'm going to start foaming at the mouth in a minute, man. He says, Lenny, the Lenny, I'm Lenny. My quota is broken. He says, I think I would have been a better an author. You know about, hey, shit. I think anybody that, anybody that is current probably would have been better. Anybody that, at least, I mean, somebody that, fell off in the 90s you're talking the 70s boy you, you got somebody that that helped write that book that was gone in the 70s Yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna say on that. You know, there's a lot of stuff that's missing in there. Not just stuff about you know, uh, from my era and um, you know, a lot of the seeds that that you know were around with me. But I mean, you know, there's nothing in there about seeds like like Mateo, uh, you know, other seeds like uh, man, you name it, man. No. Uh, Chico, any, you know, all those guys from Salinas, even back in the San Jose regiments back there, it doesn't have the breakdown on like a uh, dump truck and, and uh, Mad Dog when he was out there in Stockton and how Stockton was working with San Jose. All that stuff's missing, man. It's just, it's, there's nothing in there about it. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. That definitely wasn't in there. I don't know, Pancho. Uh, never, never uh, thought about it. Never asked him, man. Uh, Pilero. <laughs> oh man yeah bj no nah, bj wasn't in there either man it's just that's crazy oh check it out you guys can get it 70 dollars on amazon you know that cat man that cat wrote 50 books that cat wrote 50 books and it's all the same information with just a different cover 
That's all it is. That book has the Emmy winning in any scenario, like in all his spills. Yeah, straight up. Uh, I'm in, in, and I, I don't care, man. I don't care who won, who lost. It's not even about that. The thing is, is like the Emmy didn't win all the time, and the NF didn't win all the time. You know, they, they hey, there's cats that got bashed on both sides, man. But he could never admit that. And you know, it was always well. No, he wasn't a made member. He was just a he was just an associate. Or this guy was nobody. Or this guy was a pool butt. Or this guy, you know, it's always something, man. You know what I'm saying? And that cat drove a thousand miles, uh, went through a thousand pieces of paper and archives that he had probably in his fucking brother's basement to bring me uh, a report about something that. A point he was trying to prove on something and i was like bro did you really did you really do that like man i don't care about all that homeboy you know what i'm saying i don't care what you say your history is not going to change my history you know so you can go get all your paperwork that's typed up and and doctored or or whatever man but man bro let it go let it go homeboy Roberto Escobar, saludos, boss. Gracias for letting us know how the NF book is a letdown. Straight up, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not hating, bro. You know, I'm not hating. I'm sure that you guys will see yourself if you order that book, seventy bucks. You spend seventy dollars on it. You're gonna look. You're gonna go through it, and the bulk of it, the beginning, is about the '70s. The you know the. It's all about it's a historical fail, man. Um, it's all about the 70s, and then you got like from there, it just it it goes through everything real fast. It barely touches on shit. How the NR came into existence, everything that happened in Folsom, um, the you know, Tehachapi, everything that happened over there. It doesn't mention nothing about Folsom. It doesn't mention nothing about the shoe, uh, the the shoe wars in Corcoran. How all that happened. Nothing about. I mean, if you if you're gonna write an encyclopedia, you got to come with the big guns, man. You got to come with the information. I'm talking about everything. My book was it was a, a you know it was a a depiction of of what I went through and. It had a little bit of historical stuff in there so that the, the reader could understand. But if you're going to write an encyclopedia, you got to go into the, the the intricate details of everything. I'm talking about you got to bring you got to bring it, man. Why northerners were wearing Mongolians. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, the situation that happened with the homie that got uh, uh, that got killed in Folsom and. You know, the NR anniversary, the NF anniversary, all that stuff, man. My book, I think, touched on more more than than that book did as far as that kind of stuff. It's crazy, man. He lost a lot of credibility with this one after, after boy. Yeah. What you would call it? Brian Perry did a. He did a um, a podcast about the release of the book, man. It was like, <laughs> that's what a lot of a lot of the viewers that I was watching the comments. They did it live, and a lot of the viewers were like, "Dude, I'll never read a book like that." What were you thinking? You know what I mean? Why would you even have somebody co-author that book? Uh, it, it makes absolutely no sense, man. None. Not and if it was gonna be a a book, just a regular book, I might be able to say like, well, you know what? They just went in, went in on some shit, combined some knowledge, and it's just another one of those same old, same old. But now, nah, if you're gonna you're gonna write an encyclopedia, man, like I said, you gotta bring you gotta bring the 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 stuff, man, where people are gonna be like, damn, I didn't know that, or okay, like that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? That cat. That wrote that is is solely focused of profits, in my opinion. Yeah, you know the other thing too. Uh, farmland bullies is 
that book is supposed to be based on the NF, right? And the history and all that stuff. Sure enough, I knew it. His stuff is in there. He would he put his crimes in there, and it was it's for nothing other than to just to to inflate his own ego. That's all it is. There's no there's no place for that in there. Yeah, bro. So what? You and Sailor were were involved in uh, the the you know uh, allegedly involved in the killings that you put in all the books of of the individual that got tortured on the bed and so what man so what but why is that in there why is that in there man you just couldn't help but to talk about yourself huh? shame on you man rodney king shout out shout out the homie boxer I play Paradigm Media News playlists at work, sitting in heavy equipment every day. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate uh, um, who was that earlier, man? Let me scroll all the way back too. I seen that comment that you you wrote. Uh, where you at? Um, uh, way in the beginning, Samantha Lynn. Hi. Your war stories got me through a four-hour drive. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. You know, hey, if I'm able to, if I'm able to get you through it, then uh, it's all good. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you you find it interesting enough to listen to it for four hours. What's up, Josh? <laughs> That's right, Demo. Yes, sir. Rasa Fu, what's up? What? I was born and raised East Side Sanho. I moved to Stockton as I met homies from 209. It's like they kind of treated me different, not being from there. The embracement and carnalismo wasn't there. Yeah, bro. You know how it goes, man. You know how it goes. Did you guys understand what I was talking about? Like in my Q and A, somebody asked a question about, you know, have I ever been uh, turned on by people that, basically, people that I brought in or people that, you know, I, I helped, and and it seems like those are the first ones to turn on you, you know. I hope I hope that resonated with some of you guys, man, because what I was trying to say is like um, it seems like there's something taboo about taking somebody out that brought you on or that that educated you or somebody that was your leader. It's almost like it's a validation in their mind that they're they're stronger than you or that they, you know, they somehow persevered or or or, or lasted longer than you or something. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you guys? Man, it's always been like that. You know, uh, look at Mike Eel. Like I said, the example I gave Mike Eel, you had two of his his protégés, you know, they, they, wanted, they wanted to be like him so bad that they were willing to put a bullet in his head, man. It's crazy. But yeah, people, people will turn on you, man. Um, Hey, bro, what homeboy represents the cause to the fullest like a Tookie Williams did? Besides, <laughs> oh, man, Jason. Oh. You know, there's there's a, there's a some C's, man, that I can say that, uh, that, are, that are true believers, man. You know, that, that are for real and that, um, that have proven that that's you no, know, I'm not, I'm not glorifying the NF by by no means at all. But if that's where you know these guys wanted to, to you know to commit their life to, um, there's there's a couple of them that have pretty much confirmed that they were real about it, and that's that's the three that I'm I'm thinking of is uh, 
is Pinky, Corny, and Skip. Those cats, uh, you know, I know, I know there's people that, that say things that hate on them. There's, there's certain things that people will say about them, but, um, regardless, I've been around them dudes. I have history with them. And, um, when it comes to, you know, their beliefs and what, what their, you know, they're committed to, they're, they're for real about it. Can't wait to see people fall and get fucked off. They'll be the first ones to raise their hand to try to come get you. And they want to say they're your friend. Yeah. You know, the other thing that's crazy though, uh, Goyo is that it turns into to a lightweight feeding frenzy. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 crazy how fast loyalty can drop in the game, man. You know, uh, uh, one minute you're over here chopping it up with somebody on the yard out there on, on you know on the yard, and this is somebody you have history with and somebody that you're cool with, and you righteously, you know, like this individual, and you'll spin off, and they'll go over to where leadership is at. And there's a couple cats that are plotting on this dude. Yeah, something came up over there in Folsom or, you know, uh, we're about to, you know, we're about to move on this dude. And without a, a, a second thought, man, that's how fast loyalty will drop. All of a sudden, he's a target and they want to hurt this individual. <laughs> that's how it is, man. Yeah, chemo's flicks, you a fool, man. I ain't mad at you, bro. Uh, not even a little bit. Your, some of your content is 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 crazy, man. But uh, what was that one video that was on there, man? Uh, I don't remember, bro. But yeah, um, Jesse's case and who fell from his his departure. That's it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into it, bro. Matter of fact. Uh, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'll hit that episode tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that episode. Yeah, uh, Jesse Cornell was somebody that, like I said, was working in another regiment, and um, I didn't know him, didn't know nothing about him, and because a couple of you know the, the guys that were in my regiment knew him and knew he was in trouble, they got at me and were like, "Hey, B." You know this dude's a good dude man he's you know he's young he just made some bad choices oh they're, you know they're about to they're about to to hit him um he's in trouble right now is there anything you can do to help him like i said i didn't know the dude but you know he basically got himself in debt he ended up messing up a lot of money and um he got into debt and he was pretty much they had already stamped his removal. He was done. But, you know, being the kind of C that I was, I got in touch with the regimental commander at that time that was overseeing him in that regiment. And um, I said, look, bro, uh, I don't want to step on your toes. You know, this individual, I understand he's in debt and, you know, he's in trouble, but what can I do to try to help him? If you get that money back, if I if I decide to take him, you know, and have him work with me, is uh, will that work for you, man? And and basically that's what happened. So I ended up taking him in my regiment, and he works with me for about three four months. The next thing you know. My house is getting raided. The 12 other houses are getting raided. <laughs> and I'm sitting in the county jail looking at life, man, with a 46 count indictment. <sighs> That's because I, I tried to help it. All because I tried to help him. He got me. Yeah, he got all of us, man. But yeah, I'm going to get into it on the next Inner Demons. 
What's up, boxer Fresno in the house? Shout out to Fresno, man. Nothing but love. What's up, Miguel Lopez? Shout out to uh Chicago, Chi Town. Blessings right back at you. Hey, let me say this again, man. I know some of you might just be, be tapping in. So for those of you that might be familiar with you know with um with the dog giveaway that I've been talking about in my community uh in the last couple of days. So this is the thing. I'm gonna just go ahead and go over this again. Um, somebody reached out to me through IG and basically it told me that, you know, his son had graduated and, you know, he wanted to do something nice for, for another kid. And this guy, he, he owns a, you know, he's a dog breeder and, uh, he breeds American bullies. So, you know, his thing was since his son just graduated and, um, you know, his son was doing good. He was, he was in his feelings, man. He was like, you know what, man? I know how it feels to be a proud father, you know, of, of a son that, that just graduated and, and you're doing everything right. So, you know, I want to do something good for another youngster. So, you know, he got in touch with me and he was like, man, you know, I want to give this dog away to um, some, you know, a kid that fits this bill right here. Somebody that's doing good, somebody that's, you know, doing good in schools, getting good grades. Maybe somebody that just graduated, somebody that's on the right track, that's not getting in trouble. Um, you know, he's like, I want to, I want to reach out and touch somebody like that. So he's got an American bully. Like I said, he breeds him. The dog's five months old. He wants to give it away. The dog's a nice dog. There's a lot of people offering a lot of money to buy the dog, but that's not what this is about. It's not about trying to make a, a you know. A financial profit or anything like that it's about blessing a kid that's deserving of something like this so i told him i'm like hey bro i'm all for it i'm you know what i'm saying um if i can assist you with something like that and blessing a, a youngster that's deserving of something like this yeah let's do it bro so that's what this is about now tonight I'm just giving you guys the details. We're not going to do the giveaway tonight. I'm going to end up doing it. I'll let you guys know in the next day or two, but in the next couple of days, I'll let you guys know in the in the in the community section. I'll keep you updated. But you know, for those of you that want to get in the pool of of you know prospective people that a potential people that will get the dog, just put your name in the community and a little something with uh you know with your information it doesn't have to be nothing extensive just hey i got a kid he's graduating good grades he'd love the dog done you know what i'm saying you don't you don't gotta write a whole story some of you have man and i've read them and i appreciate it and like i said i wish i could give every last one of you a dog because some of you guys have some some stories man that are that are heartbreaking you know what i'm saying though you lost the dog or you had to put the dog to sleep or, uh, um, you know, there was some, some crazy stories, man, that I just, I wish I could touch everybody, but unfortunately it's not, it's not possible. So, you know, I'm not trying to make a dime off of this, man. I just want to, to kind of be the conduit, you know what I mean? And you know, the, the dog is five months old. Again, it's a nice dog. It's a bloodline dog, an American bully. It's a pocket bully. Um, let me see. I wrote this stuff down earlier. So the color of the dog is lilac. It's it's lilac. It's like a a maroonish color. It's it's a a maroonish color. The dog is a male dog. It's a boy. Um. So where's this stuff at? uh the temperament of the dog is it's got a good temperament it's a playful dog he's playful he's a big big kid man um he likes to play he's good around kids he's good around other dogs he's not aggressive like i said earlier man you know you make your dogs aggressive by locking them in the damn backyard all day putting the chain on them and just leaving them there i'd be aggressive too Shit, you know what i'm saying that's uh that's how dogs get territorial. 
when you when you lock them up like that you don't take them for a walk and you don't let them uh you know get out and socialize with people let them smell a fucking tree you know what i'm saying walk them around the park or walk them around the block otherwise they get aggressive territorial so the dog's a playful dog man um he's good around kids the dog's got a clean bill of health it's in perfect health and this guy that is really the one that's behind it you know he owns a, a dog breeding company that is called farmland bullies to farmland bullies 209 and um you know he's went as far as saying that the dog is healthy there's nothing wrong with the dog but let's just say hypothetically in the vent somebody gets the dog and they take the dog to a vet and let's just say that the vet comes back and says look this is what's wrong with there's something wrong with the dog he's willing to pay the 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 vet fees and take the dog back if you don't want it but that won't happen the dog is 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 healthy it's a healthy dog um that's pretty much it right there i told you guys the color it's a pocket bully clean bill of health um oh it's got papers too it's it's got papers it's a bloodline dog um but you know his thing is is like you know if they want the papers they're gonna have to pay for him he's like you know this is a dog i'm giving away give papers to somebody they want to go sell them and try to make a profit and all that you don't want all that but he's like you know if you really want them you can pay for them um the other thing is he wants to make sure this dog gets a, a good home man and it's it's going to go to somebody that's going to invest time you know that's going to give the dog the kind of attention that it deserves that they're not going to go out and fight the dog um and things like that you know what i mean um or like i said lock them up in the backyard and, and not give them no love man so that's pretty much it right there you guys that want to be in the in the potential pool of of candidates for the dog again leave your name and a little bit of information in the community and um what i'm what i'm gonna do is take a take everybody that put their name in and we'll spin the wheel and we'll let the wheel decide because like i said earlier I don't want to be put in that position, man. There's too many of you. I wish I could give every one of you a dog. You know, there's a lot of you that that I've been knowing for a while that I just be like, damn, man, you know, I want to bless you with this, but it's like, I'm going to let the wheel take take care of it, man. So that's that's what it is. Shout out to San Diego since day one, Jenny Shelby. Selby. Luis Ramirez, much love from San B, man. I, hey, man, shout out to San Jose, man. Smokey Low Solid Vato shadow pit that's why i keep my fatty up don't hate is it true that the pocket bully got more papers <laughs> ah he's a fool why there you go safer than the bank you know yeah <laughs> There you go, Shadow Pit. <laughs> anyway, that's what it is, man. You guys ain't uh you guys got any questions or anything, get at me in the you know in the community as well. Or you can get at me on, on IG either way. I will check my IG. I know I don't check IG as, as you know as much as I should, but I'm gonna start doing that. Straight up. Also we got some interviews coming up in the next couple weeks i told you guys about uh your uriah faber ufc fighter um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let sandman get a little bit of uh 
Sandman get a little bit of uh, skin in the game, man, by uh, interviewing him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sandman likes UFC, so I'm going to let him uh, take care of that interview. Also, I got, uh, I'm going to be interviewing Tony the Tiger. That's uh, somebody out of Sacramento that has a lot of history um, out of Sacramento. And a lot of people know his history. A lot of people know about him. So I'm going to take that interview myself, man. Um, I talked to him already. He's willing to uh, to jump on this week, man. Now, Mike Tyson is a, is a 50-50. I'm not going to blow smoke up your guys' ass. You know, but this individual told me is the one that was like, hey, you want to interview Mike? And I'm like, come on, bro. Do I really got to answer that? Hell yeah. You know, I, I really don't care what he talks about or how long he's willing to come on. Um, Mike got his own podcast called Hot Boxing. Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. But, you know, like I, I was telling you guys earlier, this guy used to be a promoter. He used to be into boxing he used to be in the corner work in the corner with some boxers and um all of them stay in touch with each other you know they're all kind of within that circle so he's the one that actually threw mike tyson out there he's like man i got a line on all these dudes man so if you're willing or if you want to to uh to have him on the channel he's like i can make it happen so and then we got this other individual i want to say somebody put it on there earlier um, all I know is his last name is Ochoa. He's somebody that used to date Kylie Jenner. And um, he's somebody else that I'm going to try to get on the channel. Why? I don't know. I don't watch the Kardashians, but he's a lightweight uh, celebrity since he used to date her. I heard a little bit of the story. He told me about it. It was something like, you know, Kylie Jenner had never been to a prom before and this dude was going to a prom somehow and she showed up at his doorstep they ended up going to the prom and within like a day this dude blew up because obviously he went to the prom with her um yeah i'll have him on the channel i don't know what we're gonna talk about i don't know if we'll be talking about pelican bay shoe program but she we'll talk about something um so we'll see what happens man We'll see what happens. Uh, I got, I got, a, I'm, I'm working on a couple things. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. Cali boys eight three one. What's up, one? Mr. No Name, 1994, what it is, homeboy. Tony the Tiger Lopez, yes, sir. What's my IG? Let me uh let me type that in. Uh what is my IG, man? I'm like 90% positive that that's it right there. So just a heads up for those who are wondering, this dog got more than one registry, as in ABKC, ABR, UKC, et cetera, with five generations of bloodlines in every registry for your information. So that's the brother right there that is behind all this right here. He's the one that's actually got the dog and, um, you know, the, the other thing that I, I, I forgot to mention is as far as like the dog, um, 
If you win, how are you going to get the dog? Well, if you're local, like in Northern California, um, especially if you're close to the Stockton area, you're winning. Um, if you're farther, further out, I'm pretty sure the homie will, will meet you somewhere. Um, if you're out of state, just so happen to be out of state, then you're going to, you're going to have to figure that out, try to get the dog to pay for it, to get, uh, you know, that's, that's, it can get expensive or figure out a way to come out and pick it up. So just a heads up on that. But, you know, again, if you're local and you're out by the Stockton area, willing to meet you somewhere, drop off the dog. Yeah, you guys can go on, uh, you know, go on his his IG and check him out as well. Um, Farmland Bullies 209. Uh, the dog that uh, we're talking about, there's pictures of that dog on. I mean, it's basically the same pictures I, I showed you guys. There might be some other pictures, you know what I mean, uh, there might be some other pictures on there. Um, but uh, hey, you know, thank you, brother. We, you know, I'm sure that they all appreciate it. I'm sure that uh, I can say that I'm speaking for pretty much everybody that is interested. That they appreciate the opportunity, bro. It's a classy move. Um, I'm sure it will, it will make somebody, you know, some some kid very happy man um and again like i said earlier what way what way can you what better way can you do than to give somebody a a, a companion like that you know an american bully so shouts out to uh farmland bullies farmland bully 209 that's the that's his instagram but that's also the name of his business the breeding of uh, breeding business farmland bullies 209 how you win this dog it, it's not it's not uh nobody's gonna win it caesar uh castellanos it's gonna it's basically gonna go into a go into the wheel the same way that we raffle off everybody or that we raffle off the shoes you know the name the names of the people that are going to participate or the pool of people the pool of candidates will go on to that wheel will spin the wheel and whoever the wheel whoever land you know whoever lands on that's who's gonna get the dog so i'm 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 not gonna make a, a choice because like i said there's too many stories man that i that qualify just the ones that i read myself but even then, it would be a tough pick, man. What's up, Lucky Loco? Big dog. Anyway, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, you guys, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. My boring ass, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, anyway, like I like I had said the other day in, in the community, I'm pretty much, I wrapped up everything that I needed to take care of with the, the passing of my relatives. So I'm back to work now, man. Um, the content will start picking back up. The inner demons, I need to hit you guys with some more stories too. It's been a while since I, I, I got into all that. Uh, but I'm going to get back into those and the Q and A's and the, the profiles, the next profile be on Marion or Pola. One of those two. We'll see. But before I get up out of here, man, does anybody have any questions about the dog? Uh, 
you got any questions get at me if you don't want to speak up now like i said get at me on my ig um and we'll take it from there man just for your info i got a members only live it's gonna cost you not a damn thing because i don't play that shit. my lives are free and funny and chill so stop <laughs> so stop by sometime and have a good time oh man decisions 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 it's all about decisions some are good some are bad man some don't make no sense but it is what it is man and it ain't what it ain't tony lopez what's up man i see your boy can i get on that yeah the qualifications you meet the qualifications boy it's Go ahead and throw your name in uh, the the community of Victor. Box charge for your lives. Hell no. Nah. I don't play that, man. Mm-mm. Not me, bro. Anyway, I see a lot of you got a lot of you cats are already dipping up out of here, man. So let me go, man. Mo Money, what's up, Mo Money? Just stop by to send my respects. Hey, I appreciate it. Also, the shoe raffle is back in effect. I'm pretty sure the last live that I did, I had um, I opened up the raffle then, so it's running right now. Those of you that want to get in the next raffle for the shoes, we're gonna be doing that as well. So get in where you fit in sam gonzalez was good og how's your night it's cool man i remember bro let me just say this sam i remember the first time motherfucker called me an og bro i want to say i was about 29 30 maybe 31 somewhere around there and that shit pissed me off bro honestly homie og i took it i took it the wrong way bro because like an og like what, what you calling me old bro i'm just telling you i ain't tripping now bro it's all good because i am old but uh i remember the first time my fucking called me og though man i i remember it like it was yesterday og it really did bother my ego man like you fucking really call me an og do i look old what you think about that machete smash that like button on your way out please yeah man hit that like button one time it ain't gonna cost you nothing man i promise you it's free help help me with the algorithm man because they, they, they're against me they really are you know watching the fight man i'm gonna i'm gonna go get on it right now i i know i knew that there was a fight and uh this was probably a bad time matter of fact the homie had told me too he was like man this is probably a bad time to make this announcement the fight's on right now so I might I might go check it out man but uh anyways for those of you that uh that missed it check out this live later when you get a chance man so you can uh get the 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 411 on the American bully giveaway man I'll give you guys updates throughout the week throughout the next day or two about where we're at when we're gonna do it exactly so you guys don't miss it or at least so you guys know ahead of time anyway with that being said man i'm gonna go ahead and slide on back man i send my respects to everybody that tapped in i appreciate it man i appreciate you guys for supporting the channel um all you guys that uh that continue to acknowledge that this channel is a grown folks channel we're grown over here man we don't indulge in the in the pussy footing man whatever you want to call it in the uh the shuckery man you know what i'm saying uh we don't do that that's that's not what we do over here man we're drama and sucker free that's the way it is man but uh 
you know, we spend our time trying to figure out ways to make this a better channel. Not about ways to make, you know, to, to self-destruct or make the next man look bad. That's just a, a colossal waste of time. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. You guys have a, a safe, productive, prosperous evening, Saturday. If you guys are going out tonight, man, have fun. Do your thing, man, but get the keys to somebody else, man. Anyways, I'm out, you guys. And, uh, all right, Lucky Local, I'm out. But I'll update you guys throughout the next day or two about uh the giveaway. All right, you guys, it's your boy B. I'm out, man. All right, Artie, Artie Moran, Smokey Loco, Bear Poncho 66, Everlasting Bass, Lucky Loco, Machete, Mad Max 408, Roll Call, Tony Lopez, Victor Morris, Shannon Ener. Mr. No Name, Jose Escobar, Big Dog. Goyo, Cesar Castellanos, Farmland Bullies, Shadow Pit, Stovetop, 1011. Have you ever been at, Adelaide, at, at Adelita's or Hong Kong in TJ? No, hell no. Cali Boys 831. Uh. Miguel. Miguel Lopez. Jenny Shelby. Selby. Timo DeVille. And everybody else, if I missed you guys, man, shout out to everybody, man. Anybody and everybody I missed. You guys have a good night. I'm out, man. Peace.